Hey everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to how to convert PKG or pack mods into RAR mods in CD Card Driving 1.5. So the first step you're going to do is create a new folder and you're just going to call it what your mod is. So I don't even know what mod I'm going to do, so I'm just going to write mod name because I can. Uh, so I'm going to go in here and what you're going to do is you're going to create new, a couple folders. Just move my microphone out the way of my keyboard. Okay, so new folders, and we call it data and export. And then in data, as you can see, we open this. We need game data, GUI, and physics. So let's hit new folder. We're going to call this one game data. And another new folder, physics and another new folder, GUI. Okay, and then on the export side, we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it GFXLIB. I have no idea if that is meant to be a sayable word or not, but yeah. <laughs> and then the next one, textures. Now make sure we have the S. Some people have forgotten the S and the whole car is going black and red. Just textures dds and a new folder and call it meshes. Okay, so now we have all the folders prepared, we can grab the files out of them. So if we go, we'll start with data because data has the easier folders to get. Data, and we're going to go game data, I'm going to go cars. So we're going to go in here, new folder, and call it cars, and then go there. And so now, we are going to pick a car, so I might just pick the big car. No, I want to pick something. Let's see. Let's see what to pick. Okay, well, let's just go with the Bugatti Veyron. So as you can see, all the folders are here. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to get this one. I'm going to Control C, and then either just go Paste or Control V, and now they're there. All your folders are there. Now basically just repeat this process for every single folder. So data and GUI. This one is different though, so what I'm gonna do is gonna go gonna create new folders called common and home. Common, make sure you go to capital C and new folder home with a lowercase h. Go into common and now we need to get a few folders. So we're gonna get, I think, I believe this one's config, no. Um, this one is layouts and then cars here. Yeah, okay, so a new folder, layouts, and another new folder, call it cars. Okay, in here we're going to get your um, your car's name again, so the big daddy may run, control C, and control V. Okay, paste. Uh, and now you should have all the content in there, so basically just car mirrors. Okay, the next one, go back to GUI, go home, and then we're going to go create a new folder and call it image sets. And then in here, go to cars, and create a new folder in that, call that one cars as well, and then get here. So. This is basically the picture you're going to have for your, um, so when you choose the colour of your car for this one, because um, I've got my car as the carbon colour rather than just multicoloured, um, it's just stuck with this kind of colour. But as you can see, these are the, um, when you select your colour, these are the ones you get. And when you, you know, when you chose it and you go to the, um, like your main menu where you get to start the game, this will show up to show what car you have. This is something I think only Case and I went in 116 RUS or Russ does. No other model does this. But just basically, we're going to just go cars and just go copy and then paste them in here. And then they will all be there. And that's pretty much it for that one. Uh, go back to mod or data. And now we need to do physics. So go into physics. And this one's a bit tricky. So go into a new thing called cars. Then a new one. 
call it engine and another new one and call it transmission. Make sure you've got capital letters for the first letter. Get cars, cars, and now get your car. So Bugatti Veyron, control C, control V. Make sure they're all in there, which it isn't because there's nothing in here. Is that? What the hell? Well, the, the, fa the, the main point is the car still works, so that's the most important thing. Uh, well, uh, does it work? Is that, is that why my game's, my game is kind of crashing? Okay, uh, we're gonna get back to that later. Okay, physics. Uh, transmission. Not all cars are gonna have a transmission, so I'm just copying it from other ones. This, okay, this one actually has transmission. Alright, we're gonna go back to cars. Sorry, physics. Transmission. And control V. Make sure they're all in there. Okay, they're good. Physics, engine, physics, engine. Now this one, for some reason, you don't need cars, uh, but it's because it, this stuff only applies to, to cars, so they don't really need it. Control C, Control V, make sure they're in there. Okay. Okay, so now we're finished with the data, so we can start with the export. Export, and we'll just go back to data. No. Export. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the GFX lib cars. So in here, new folder, call it cars. And then find your car, control C, control V, make sure they're all in there. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's all it. Uh, why is that in Russian? I don't know. Okay, back to here, G uh, export, okay, meshes. Go into grand new folder and call that cars. And then we're going to find our car. Control C, Control V. They're all there. And they're all there. Okay, back. Okay, export text to CDS. Cars. Make sure you get a new folder and call that cars. Okay, and then go to the folder, Control C, Control V. Okay, and then this is all the textures. And as you can see, they're all here, I think. Are they? Yep, okay, they're all there. All good. Okay, so now we are basically done. And so if I go back here, I'm gonna just copy, rename this folder, call that Bugatti, not Bugatti, Bugatti, Vagon. Super Sport 1.5.0. Okay, so now this is all done. So we just need to play our cars. This is the hardest part. So what you're going to do is going to go to um, City Country Home Edition, go Data, Config. Well, it's not really the hardest part, but you know, okay. So I'm going to just go over with Note Notepad, plus plus. find the beginning or the car you've chosen code, hit Control C. And then go uh, right now. Sorry, new document. So call this. I'm going to say text document. And I call it player underscore cars code. I'm going to get rid of that because this the folder's name is just no capital. I don't know. It's just me. Okay, put that there. Control V. Uh, and because I'm me, I'm just going to get rid of that. And when I put in. Just put tap. Okay, I'm gonna put in converted to player car. No, what am I thinking of? Converted to ra by the channel. That's my formal name, not my YouTube name. Control save, close. Okay, so now you can just put that into the thing. So just make sure everything is right. Yep, okay, now just make sure. Okay, cool. And basically this will be, it's not that hard, just click spam a bunch of buttons. Yep, all cool, good. I'm pretty good at clicking. Um, image sets, cars, okay, hang on, all there. Common, layouts, cars, okay, hang on, yep. Physics, cars, engine, yep. 
we'll get back to fixing. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go back to the daemon installer and try to reinstall the, the car mod just to make sure it's not missing any files. Where's my installers? Yes, I've made it really hard to find. I'm pretty sure it was up here. There it is. Okay. Yes. Choose mod. Bugatti. Very much. Okay, um, is that now being fixed? Oh, oh. Okay, uh, it was in, okay, transmission? Oh, no, it was in cars. Okay, so data physics, so. Data physics cars. Ah, it's there now. Okay, I guess it was missing from my game for unknown reasons. So pop that back in. Okay, it's all fixed. So now we're pretty much done. So if we installed this to our game, we would be able to drive the car. So if you're having issues with your installer for some reason, even though it should have been fixed by now, we now know that it is all good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And I hope it helped. If it didn't, well, if you are having issues, just let me know.